you go out in the woods and you shoot the deer in the head and then you throw them on the back right there and you haul them out of the woods. That's what this is for, it's a hunting vehicle. It's a construction vehicle. You can demolition houses, rip them off the foundation and it's also a boat. It'll float all the way across the river. These float. How do they float? Well, look at the tires. These are flotation tires. Rokon actually makes a kit with two outriggers, foam outriggers, so you can go boating with the family. And you know, chicks dig boats, right? You have a boat and a motorcycle all in one, two wheel drive. On any normal motorcycle, this might be considered suicide, but on a Rokon, just another day in the woods. Eat. And I'm riding bitch on the back of his bike. And I said to him as we're going around these corners because this guy is crazy, absolutely nuts. I think you're crazier to get on the back. <laughs> uh, well, and I said to him, Malcolm, for God's sakes, if you crash, just make sure I'm in a box because I don't want to be a paraplegic. <laughs> uh, I thought you were threatening to kill him. That's not even uh -huh. better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he better be dead. That's awesome. Thank you. Sir. Well, thanks for coming. Check this out. Suicide shift, baby. What a cool piece, man. Brocon. This thing actually runs like a top. Watch out for the machine right there. Up on, honey. No, no clutch, huh? No clutch. Just send it. Look at the gearing on this thing. I bet you with the gearing, you could haul a thousand pounds up the hill here, just drag it right up the hill. Oh yeah, that th that thing's got so much torque in first gear, it's insane. It just geared so low, it'll rip the house off the foundation, you know. You know what's weird about it too? It's stupid light. You wouldn't think it would be. It is. But like, you can pick up the back end with like your finger, just whoop. Right, just steel tube frame and and a uh, little two-stroke motor. Yeah, it, it's it's it doesn't look it, but it's very just basic, simple machine. big balloon tires. That's all the suspension you need. And they do float. They do float on water. Float it right down the river, right down the hawk in them. Just lay it on its side and just, just float along. It's really a go anywhere type of thing, you know? Across the lake. <laughs> yes. <laughs> hey, what can you do with that thing? Well, for one, if you're lucky, you can pick up a super hot blonde like Christy. No guarantees that's going to happen, but it worked for me. <laughs> and you can take her off-roading in the woods. You can go way out in the woods and do the I ran out of gas trick. <laughs> no, leave that in there. Is that a joke? Hey, hey. Guys, this is an original Rokon Trailbreaker. Just massaged to perfection by none other than, than uh, Jimmy Laurinaitis. Wow. What, what, can, what can a bike like this do? Man, this thing will, it'll, it'll, it'll rip your house right off the goddamn foundation. <laughs> hey, hey, guys, after you rip your house off the foundation, you can crawl up the wall of your neighbor's house and over the hill, and, and you can ride this across the lake. Why? Because it floats on water. It floats on water. It'll rip houses off foundations. Hey, hey, let's take it up the really steep part of the hill over here. Let's go. Yeah, just, let's go. Guys, this is like a wall right here. Hold up. Oh, he's doing it. He's doing it. He's doing it. Wow. It'll also go down the mountain, straight down the mountain. Be careful. This doesn't do justice to how steep this is.
Look at the profile of this thing. It's sick. It's a freaking mountain goat, man. Hey. I wouldn't have gone down this part of the hill. As a daily commuter, not a problem. Three speed overdrive, right down the highway. Watch. You can't actually go down the highway with it. It probably tops out around 12 miles an hour, but. There he is, 60 miles an hour, right down the highway. Park the towel, take it on the open road, or take it to the museum. Guys, Junior just said this really is a kick-ass bike, and I have to uh, echo that sentiment. This is an original paint Survivor with very low hours on it. This was in a climate control facility that actually had uh, radiant heat flooring, and that, that's an indication why all the metal finishes on this thing are in beautiful condition, including the original paint on the gas tank. Just remarkable. I have not seen an original trail breaker in this kind of condition in many, many moons. Even the tires are in mint condition on it. Now, we went, went, went right through it. Uh, Jimmy took it, uh, the complete fuel system off the gas tank, the carburetor, thoroughly cleaned the inside of the tank, rebuilt the fuel petcock, put new fuel lines on it, rebuilt the carburetor. And I'm just going to read the work order because there's three pages of notes here. Um, and I don't want to speak out of school. So. Started with removing the fuel tank, soda blasted inside of the tank, replaced the fuel shutoff valve, put new fuel line with a new inline fuel filter, cleaned and rebuilt the Tillotson carburetor with genuine Tillotson parts kit, dialed in the high and low speed fuel screws for correct performance, and put a gallon of VP fuel mix 32 to 1. He resealed the upper rear miter box drive and installed new gear oil, uh, so it has a new seal in the miter box drive, serviced the Albion transmission with new gear oil, replaced the output end seal, Put new woodruff keys in, installed the new drive belt, as you can see, new drive belt. Um, cleaned both pulleys, serviced the front clutch, cleaned and re-greased the roller spring, the roller sprag, excuse me. Serviced the upper front miter bo drive box with new gear oil, lubed and adjusted the throttle cable, cleaned and lubed the throttle housing, installed the updated air filter assembly, uh, lubed the chains, set the tire air pressure at four pounds front and rear, so very low pressure, It'll pretty, like as you can see, it climbs right up the side of the hill like nothing. Replaced the exhaust gasket, uh, test drove it and did a final dial in of the fuel screws and as he Kenny said and I said Jimmy said runs excellent all three gears work it's a semi-automatic there's no clutch you just shift and uh, it, 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 it goes awesome Jimmy had it for a total of 12 hours and it was in a detail shop they hot water uh, steam cleaned it hand washed it degreased it touched up the frame the forks the swing arm uh, the exhaust system was completely repainted refinished uh, the pulley was repainted the kickstand was repainted they polished the handlebars the uh, levers, the engine pulley guard, the shifter, any of the raw aluminum was cleaned and polished and cleaned the tires. So um, it'll go back in the detail shop for a final wash down because I got the tires a little dirty going up the hill, but gen genuinely uh, a hoot to ride. And if you research the videos online, this, these do actually flo float on water. They're flotation tires. And with the um, optional outboard kit, you can actually float it across the lake. So as far as the parts list goes, I pretty, pretty much went over most of it. Just double check uh, new oil seals, uh, new woodruff keys, new drive belt, new exhaust gasket, new new miter box oil seal, new two-stroke air filter kit, shutoff valve, fuel tank fitting, uh, the nut for the fuel tank, the fuel tank O-ring, the roller pin, and the carburetor rebuild kit. Can you point to the miter box where it was where it was uh, the seals were replaced, yeah, which is very common on these? Right over here. This is something most people. Right behind this gear right here is where the uh, the oil was leaking out. So very common uh, on, a, on a classic like this. Most people would just run it dry and continue riding it or put it in storage like that. This is rebuilt. This is set up and ready to ride and or put it back in a uh, um, perfect environment like Randy had stored it and it'll stay like this for another 50 years. If you have any questions, give us a call. Again, two-wheel drive, one of the uh, the original two-wheel drive motorcycle. And it's built like a like a like kind of like a, a military vehicle. Everything's overbuilt. It has a Chrysler motor in it. Uh, parts are still available as uh, witnessed by our ability to easily get the uh, all the components we need. I've never ridden a Rokon, and we brought this in, and I had to ride it down to the first floor to take some pictures. And I was a little skeptical. I was, I was like, in my head, I, I was thinking, there's no way that this is practical. 
but then it started up first kick and it carbureted perfectly and it ran perfectly and didn't leak a drop of oil or fuel and the transmission shifted smoothly and the brakes worked great and i was like this is a kick-ass machine this is actually a lot of fun and the char the charm when you're pulling up you know at a snail's pace just creeping along torquing her it definitely turns heads will go anywhere as it as it says on the side of the tank trail breaker goes anywhere this thing will literally crawl through virgin forest like nothing so for a hunting vehicle you can't beat it for uh, uh, just a conversation piece, you can't beat it. So generally, we see these trading in the two to three thousand dollar range, not running, um, needing total restorations. This one's completely redone with the original paint on the tank. So uh, our work order, the bottom line that we invested on top of the cost from Randy, when uh, we paid a pretty penny for it because it was as nice as, as as it is cosmetically. It looked like it does now. It's just been cleaned up. Uh, we put two thousand three hundred and two dollars as twenty two hours labor and uh, parts. So. Uh, if you have any questions, Kyle, you, any any words of wisdom uh, from you on this? Yeah, I mean, like Kenny said, the, this is just a kick-ass running machine, and you know, I got to believe a lot of it. I mean, they were made right here in New England, right out of New Hampshire, so it doesn't get any better than that. USA made. That's 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 it right there. Hundred percent. The Chrysler engine. Uh, the oh yeah. Made frame right here in New Hampshire. Yep. Yeah. Uh, this these things were literally meant. They were they were built in the woods. They were meant for the woods. Meant to go anywhere. Anything. Military quality, American made, classic investment quality piece. Good luck if you ever thought of buying a Rocon. Guys, this is the one. Bid high, bid often, because you're not going to find one sorted out this well by the pros at the New England Motorcycle Museum and Kaplan Cycles. Thanks for watching, and God bless America.